Have you ever used a strap on yourself? What? You're done. Ooh. You're done. For me, I don't like cereal. I don't like Netflix. I do like sleeping with Zach. I never watched High School Musical a day in my life. What happened between Jalil, Zach, and you because y'all barely making videos? I'ma talk about this once, and I'm never talking about it again. Next, I ain't gonna lie, this is a little spicy. I ain't gonna lie, it's a little spicy. Are you in a relationship? <laughs> What is good, YouTube man? Welcome back to another Ooh. video, man. Welcome back to another bang. As you can see by the title, today I'm gonna be doing a Q and A. I wanna, I wanna go into this 2022 with a new vibe. And before I do that, I wanna come in with something calm, something new, some new content, some new. I said content, some new content. But before we do all that, I wanna come in with something calm. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all don't really know me like that. Like, if you think you know me, know me, you don't know me, know me. You know what I'm saying? You know me a little bit, but not like. No, you know I'm saying so today we're gonna be doing the QA man and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully with all these questions that y'all ask me, when you get to know me a little more, a little, a little, a little closer. Don't make me do it. Don't make don't make me do it. But look, man, y'all already know what to do. I already got the questions on my phone. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let's see, let's see these interesting questions you guys sent me. Alright, so boom. Somebody said, Why won't you answer the phone when I call you? Huh? Like, what? I, I do you even have my number. Do you, do you even got an iPhone even? <laughs> Do you even got a black puffer even? <laughs> Next. Why are you so fine? I don't know. I don't, I really, I really wish I could know, but I don't know. Like, am I, am I even fine even? Bruh. Like, stop playing. Like, I didn't listen. I didn't so my fam. Is you calling me cute? Stop playing though. Like, stop. Somebody got a little more personal. They said, how was this year for you? Um, I'm not going to lie. This, this year was good. A lot of times we don't think about the past. We always think about the future and what we have right now. You feel me? So, um, it's going way better. Um, last year, I was not at 10K or, or even 13K. I had writer's block. I was going through mad shit. Um, I got a job, you feel me? Last year, I was getting bright, you feel me, by doing little summer jobs here and there, doing little things. But that wasn't like an official job. Now I got my official job, which, you feel me? I'm doing that, you feel me? But my, my dream, my dream goal is always to pursue YouTube as a full-time, full-time thing, you feel me? I want to wake up and just, feel me? Y'all smell my breath in the morning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even if it's stinky. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just... Just, I just want to get to that personal level with YouTube. Like, I really I really have a passion for this. You feel what I'm saying? So, definitely that. This year, I started driving and all that. You feel me? I didn't do that last year. I matured. Like, I, when I tell y'all, bro, like, I'm a goofball. But, like, at school, like, in, in like, freshman year, like, uh, junior year, all that stuff, man. I was real immature. You feel me? And I feel like I grew up with a lot of that stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Which is a good thing. You feel me? So, um, this year was definitely good. But 2022, I'm going to make it my year. No cap. By the way, thank you for asking. I hope yours is going well. You feel what I'm saying? Next one said, have you ever used a strap on yourself? What? Why? Wh why? Just, just, why? Ain't the strap for some... You're done. You're done. You're done. Next, somebody said, what is the scariest thing that happened in your life? Scariest thing? I've had like a couple injuries here and there. Like when I was smaller type-ish. Thank God, you feel me? Nothing have happened crazy now when I'm older, you feel me? For surely, I feel like the scariest moment in my life was one when I busted my lip, which is right here. I don't know if y'all can peep that, but I had, I do have a busted lip. I had to get like stitches or whatever. That was like the scariest part because I never seen like so much blood in my life. The second one, I would definitely say the time that I got a hanger stuck in my eye. We ain't oh, gonna talk about it. We not gonna even talk about it, but that did happen to me. And I'm not gonna lie, for like a little kid having a hanger stuck in their eye, that was a scary. I thought my eye was about to pop out. I thought I was about to be blind. Um, like I said again, thank God ain't nothing crazy have happened. You feel me? How many people have you cheated on in the past? I know. I know, like, I know y'all probably look at me and be like, yo, she look like the cheating type, or yo, she look like she about to play your mama and your grandma, you feel me? But I'm not a player, y'all. I'm really not a player. I wouldn't say I'm a simp either. Not the cap. Okay, 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 wait. Maybe in the past. Now, I feel like, I mean, I still... I'm, I don't consider myself a simp, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm definitely not a player, you feel what I'm saying? Because I just, that was never me. My heart don't beat like that. I can't sit here and do you dirty, you feel what I'm saying? I never cheated on anybody. Somebody said, where do you go get your hat? Good question, because this is one that I got on right now. Um, And I have some new hats, too. I just wait for these pictures that's about to come out on Instagram. But um, I basically go to, like, Lids and, like, all the common stores that people go for hats, I go to. Somebody asked me what happened between Jalil, Zach, and you because y'all barely making videos. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to talk about this once, and I'm never 
we're talking about it again. I hate putting things out on the internet, you feel what I'm saying? I'm not that type of person. So when things do happen, I know y'all peeped that I did post on Instagram when the thing did happen. Um, Some of y'all seen it, not everybody. But basically, to break it down for me, me and them, you feel me? We basically just had a little disagreement. I went on the internet and I posted it, you feel me? And that's something that I've stopped doing. Like, I really stopped kind of venting and like taking my whole mind out to the internet because some things is better off off the internet, you feel me? The best thing you could ever do is if you're going through something, don't post it on the internet, you feel me? A lot of people, they're gonna see it and they're gonna be happy that you're going through that or they're gonna be happy that, you feel me, they seen what they seen, you feel me? So, but I was also just letting y'all know that we not gonna be doing videos as much. I don't know if we will come out with anything in the future, you feel me? They're doing whatever they're doing. Me, I'm trying to spin off that, you feel me, and do something different, create something bigger, you know what I mean? Um, I wanna expand, get different content, you feel me? I know, I know I'm, I'm capable of doing more. So I'm gonna go out there and do more, you feel me? I wanna expand my channel. Sooner or later, a vlog channel I'm gonna be coming out for surely behind the scenes you're gonna be messing with me. i'm not a boring person but i could be taking the shit on the toilet and we'll have a great conversation <laughs> you know what i'm saying no joke so yeah basically we're just gonna be expanding you feel me they're gonna be doing their videos i'm gonna be doing my thing you feel me success to them success to me success to everybody but yeah other than that we all still cool you feel what i'm saying ain't nothing ain't no bad blood you feel me we all good but we just trying to make new content we're trying to expand we're trying to do big things anyways next question somebody said are you the only child good question nobody has ever asked me this but i I am not the only child. I have five brothers, you feel me? I'm not the only child. You see me on the camera, and it's only me, but I have five brothers. Whoa, I just put ten. Bruh. Five. Five other brothers. I'm the only girl that has equals six kids. Good math. Stay in school, kids. Somebody asked me what's my favorite color. Now I feel like we just playing 21 questions. Oh, my favorite color is blue, you feel me? Blue and pink. I love pink. Somebody said, why have you not been posting? All right, so boom. Like I was just talking about, right? I'm trying to switch up this content. I'm trying to do different things. Let me tell y'all that being a YouTuber is not just grabbing a camera going out and start vlogging and doing all this other shit it is so much more than that you have to put a lot of creativity a lot of thinking into it i'm not the type of person that i just put out whatever i don't like doing that you feel me this is the this is probably gonna be the last video that y'all gonna see me sitting down and talking to y'all i promise y'all because i'm going to be coming with something different i'm not ddg i don't just go to starbucks and flirt with the girl and get many years of you I, I can't do that it's really it really just hard bro like sometimes you don't even want to work with people in the industry you feel me like youtube industry i ain't gonna lie like there's this there's, there's people that Bro, like, they don't be the people that y'all see on camera Ooh. for me. So, I don't even be wanting to work with people like that anymore. I really just be wanting to stay by my dolo. But, definitely new content is going to be coming out. Y'all just got to be patient with me. Be patient with me. Somebody said, when did you realize you start liking females? I, I ain't going to lie, bro. Like, I've been like this since I was a youngin. Like, youngin. I'm talking about little dance was getting it. I don't huh? know. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, third grade, it was like this one girl. You feel me? I liked her. But, it ain't nothing too serious. I still was like, you feel me? Experiencing stuff. And, um, when you, when I, when I would see that everybody would be with a boy in my head i'm like nah like i'm not even normal bro like why am i with a female you feel me and then officially seventh grade in middle school was the time that i went and i just told everybody like boom this is what i like that shit and then it kind of became a trend like everybody was trying to be gay and i don't know what that was about but hey everybody with their own ting you feel me all right somebody just asked me when was your first kiss damn that's a good question my first kiss was like second grade bro and it was by some little boy that i thought looked like justin bieber what? don't don't ask me, bro, but I used to be, like, mad into Justin Bieber. Like, Justin Bieber was my ish, you feel me? I had him on my birthday cake. I had him on my wall. I had him as my wallpaper. I, I had him everywhere, you feel me? It was about some little boy in second grade. It was not even... I don't even count that as a real, real kiss, you feel me? Because I was I was a kid, bro. I was a kid. Then somebody asked me, what is my type? I'll say, bro, I don't got no type. Like, I feel like back then I did. Now I don't because now I'm such more about, like... When you mature, like, you, 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 you start noticing things so differently like bro you're not gonna be seeing girls for looks anymore you're gonna be looking at what they do and it's gonna turn you on or off like i I promise you that a girl could be so fine. She could be Kim K. Not even Kim K. Kim K ain't even fine like that. She could be somebody that's fine, you feel me? And once you see her do something you don't like, <clears throat> like, it's not even gonna be an exception anymore. You seriously just gonna whoop, move her to the side. That's me. Like, sometimes certain things, for me, not to not to say nothing about the girls in NYC, but some of y'all be wildin'. Like, y'all really be, like, blowing me. Like, I don't know. Bruh. But, hey, to each his own, you feel me? But me personally, before y'all come for me in the comments, let's say I'm, I'm talking to a girl, right? I hear uh, my like, yo, what you doing? She tell me, oh yeah, I'm just on the block playing with my bitty. 
what? And I got a blunt on me. Like, what? If you do that, you is not getting my attack. That's crazy right there. What you mean you on the block playing playing dice with your girls? You one of the homeboys? What are you doing? It's just me. Like, maybe it's just me. You feel me? I can't do it. I can't. Same for the guys. You feel me? Don't think I'm just talking about the female. Guys, too. Like, y'all be the same ones thinking that painting your nails and getting a manicure is, is gay. It, it just, you feel me? That's all about hygiene and all this, all that. I, but like I said again, to each his own. Little things like that could really turn on and turn off somebody for sure somebody said how old are you i'm 17 easy question i turned 18 in august 10 somebody said what's an advice you wish someone gave you that you have given to others did i read that <laughs> i say i say being too open like don't ever be too open like because like you you literally are trusting everybody with you with yourself with your business with with everything like that's the point where people start thinking they know about you where people start thinking they can get next to you where people start taking advantage of how nice you are you feel what i'm saying that's something about me and it's pretty bad i'll end up venting to somebody and they'll end up knowing all my business and behind my back that person is wishing that on me you feel what i'm saying they want me to be bad you feel me they want me to go through what i'm going through. And, and and it's just it's just it's a bad thing don't don't do it it's okay to be friendly it's okay to be open as in making friends and stuff but don't always feel like you could trust somebody and definitely not in this generation because people just they, they not trust that's another thing i improved on like i have i have not been that open or that social with everybody if you meet me in person we could chill we could talk we could we could vibe it up you feel me i'm gonna still be a vibe but i'm not gonna tell you all my business you feel me i'm not gonna see and do all that it sounds like it's common sense but being friendly and open it just slips out and you know you end up telling the wrong person and that person gonna start biting your hand you feel what i'm saying so Somebody asked me when you drop in a shoe collection vid. I don't really know, bro. Like, I got a lot of heat, though. I ain't gonna lie. Somebody asked me my favorite childhood memory. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, versus me to my friends or whatever the case may be, they're so different. Like, they'll be over there watching High School Musical and I'm on YouTube watching DDG. You feel me? When I was young, you feel me? I was just watching straight YouTubers. I would not be on Netflix. I would not be watching movies. I'd not be. I don't even like Netflix to this day. I don't even like serious. If you know me in person, I am weird. Like, I don't, whatever a regular person does, I don't do. I sleep oh, with socks. I don't know, nah. man. Like, my childhood was just different. Um, When I was small, they used to put socks on me, you feel me? When I was younger. So, I got comfortable with sleeping with socks. And that's what I do now, you feel me? And a lot of people, they find it weird, you feel me? I don't like cereal. I don't like Netflix. I do like sleeping with socks, you feel me? I, I, I never watched High School Musical a day in my life. Last but not least, man. Ooh. I ain't gonna lie, this one a little spicy. I ain't gonna lie, this one a little spicy. Somebody asked me, are you? You in a relationship if you have me on instagram if you have me on snapchat if you don't got me on social media go ahead social media is right behind here you feel me add me on social media so you could be on tune with every single thing you feel what i'm saying and the answer to that question is yes oh I officially my God. One, you feel me um that happened the 24th like literally this this year december this month and um i'm happy where i'm at for me i'm happy with who i'm with i know y'all gonna see it i know y'all have seen it you feel me a lot of y'all haven't really reached out y'all really don't y'all really don't care as long as i'm making content i'm hoping y'all don't care you feel what i'm saying um i think that is the last question for this video you feel what i'm saying y'all already know what to do man like comment and subscribe y'all gonna go ahead y'all gonna see a brand new me you feel me not brand new me i'm dragging i'm, dra I'm not about to be like these people that be like new 2020 year uh, uh brand new me no i'm not gonna be doing that but brand new content brand new year this is my year i'm trying to have at least more than 50k more than 50k 2022 at least more than 50k so we're gonna work our butts off you feel me i'm gonna be doing what i gotta do if you have been with me and you're an og i love you and if you're here right now watching this video i love you you feel what i'm saying make sure i like comment and subscribe you feel me it's been desmond and i'm out of here